Hello everyone. So I have another journal to share. This is the big one that I've been working on for a long time. So I'll start by just showing in detail the cover here. This is some vintage lace that I actually hand stitched on to this fabric that's on here. And I think this used to be a pillowcase and lift that part lifts up. You see that beautiful rose pattern. I love that. Then I have some more fabric layered and stitched onto some lace. Some lace here and then this trim here. And on the spine I have some burlap and some more vintage like lace. Yeah and then this wraps around as the closure. I'll show that in a moment but first I wanted to make note of this is one of those I think it's a Tim Holtz and it's like a paper fastener, brad, that goes through and I messed it up so I, it was hidden but then I think I had to redo it and so yeah you can see it but oh well. So it has this nice ring on here which I hooked onto the ring. Let me see. I'm just going to take these off, yeah. I've done like a little cluster of scrap ribbons here. Not just ribbons. Um, there's ribbon, there's dyed seam binding, there's some scrap fabric that I've torn. Yeah, there's a lot on there. And that's just, I slipped a jump ring through this part and then hooked it on there. And then a dangle, which I made. Let me see if we can get everything in detail here. There's a beaded like flower thing that I made there. And then this is a key. Another little bead here, a butterfly bead there. This is a little charm, another little beaded charm here. And this probably was a pendant at one point or an earring or something. And I've had it for a while, but I liked how it looked on there. So I'm gonna set that aside and then show you the closure here is the dyed seam binding here. And then I've tied a bow, but I've also wrapped it around this so you can see this uh, button here and then I don't even know what this metal thing was but I s actually sewed the button and this metal thing on through the ribbon here to attach it so let's go up close you can see that there's some patina because of the metal corroding a little bit it's really beautiful and yeah let's go on inside I'll try not to talk too much I do talk a lot sometimes so inside I've covered with some fabric that I stitched around the edges and made a fabric pocket. And then I used some, this is printable ephemera attached onto an, a dyed, coffee dyed index card for that. Done some stamping in here. This is tracing paper and then oxide ink. And it's really cool how, let me get up close. You can see the oxidation hopefully there. And then I like to stamp on the tracing paper because you can also see the image on the other side. This is some vintage ribbon that I stitched up this way and then that's a paper fastener. Coffee dyed items. Here I have added a paper clip. This is just some ephemera. And to the clip I have a dangle. A little bead dangle. And actually, rather than put that back on right now, I'm just going to set that in there. This is vintage book page. Ledger paper. That's just a piece of ephemera. This page and some of the ones similar, I actually achieved that look with inks and the gel press. And gel plate. Jelly plate. Yeah. And then this is just the brayer runoff from the inks. On some of the scraps, uh, or the papers, I have little scrap fabric tabs. Oops, too many pages there. This one opens, flips out, and you can see the stamping. Messing up my little lace. Done a little tuck spot collage there. Nice and loose. You can actually see the glare of some glue there. That was not intentional. I've also put some scraps of fabric here. This is the center of the first signature. 
I didn't embellish the strings at all. And you may recognize these, some of these pages. This is from the Edith Holden Diary of a Country, or Diary of, Country Diary of a Edwardian Lady, something like that. Stickers also I've used in here. This I didn't fully attach. I thought it might be able to use it as a tuck spot, but I don't know that there's enough room. I think partly also I just didn't want to glue all those little pieces, but that's such a beautiful image there on that piece of ephemera. Oh, and this is fabric washi that I've also decorated some of the edges of papers with. Here I have a little garment pin. Oops, get close there. And I've put it through a couple tickets. And then these are like sequin things. There's, that's a sequin, and yeah. And attach them onto this lace that's on the trim, but that can move throughout. Some more stamping there. This is a little tuck collage there that I made with some stamps, postage stamps, canceled postage stamps. Yeah. And this was from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. So there's a variety of digitals that I've had printed out and just tucked away from Tsunami Rose and Ephemera's Vintage Garden in here. And maybe even, I think there might be a couple other ones, but you can always ask. This is the second signature and another Edith Holden page. And I will do my best to figure out where things came from, if you would like to know. This is so cute. It's a playing card. It's a little little worse for the wear on this side, but you know what? That adds its vintage rustic charm. And this was actually from some cutouts from a scrapbook paper, I think. And that's another vintage book page. Loved that book. I still have some of the pages from that book that I have to use. Here I've done kind of a hidden paper clip. That's just piece of ephemera there, and this is a printed uh, digital ephemera. And set that there, and get a close-up of the paper clip. This is a tiny envelope. I don't think it opens. Oh, it actually does, and I've got something in there, too. Hmm. I have a little square card in there. <laughs> That's funny. I forgot. I, I made this embellishment a while ago. And so I guess I forgot that I had that in there. And to cover this side of the paper clip, I just added a scrap of cardstock and a little butterfly. I set that there. And here is a little pocket. This has a gusset that I made a while ago with book page and some scraps. There might be a video on my channel of this, but I'm actually not sure if I ever did a video of it. So if I did, I'll put an eye card. If not, well, I think I might have seen it on someone else's video. The idea that is. We'll set those there. Hopefully this doesn't get too long. That's a sticker. That's the remnant of my index card, jumbo index card that I've stitched within the signature. Some vintage lace here. Makes a nice little tuck spot. And in the center of this signature, I have this uh, printed out digital envelope. Um, and that's the paper that goes with it. Get back in there. I don't want to take it all the way out. And then this is some, um, I think it's packaging because it's a thicker cardstock, but it was a really pretty image of a rose and I fussy cut it out to use as the closure there on that envelope. Here's another corner flip and some ephemera. This is a tiny little envelope that came in an ephemera pack. So cute. Another vintage ribbon um, fabric there that I've sewn on, and then I glued it in here. I didn't actually sew it on the index card. And then this side, I've used this piece of digital ephemera to uh, make a tuck spot. This is a piece from a scrap of paper. It has been coffee dyed, I think, a long time ago. I had it in my stash. And then let's see if I can get... I don't want to unpin this, but I want to get closer so you can have a look at this little dangle. This is a tiny little gold safety pin and I've strung the beads on there. That's why I don't want to take it off because then I'll have to be careful about not losing those little beads, but it can move. Um, it's just 
tedious process there. And this was once a beautiful necklace that I had that broke and wasn't able to be used as a necklace, so I've been using the pieces of it in journals and things for a while now. And I still love it. Again, that's off the brayer, and that was from the gel press, that there. And this is the last page in this signature. A little bit of a fragile doily there, and it's been coffee dyed. And there's another doily here. Oh, this is really beautiful. This is an older stamp that I had. And I'll try to get up close. Look at that patina from the oxide ink. I don't even remember if I sprayed. I think that is just from having cleaned the stamp or something. I'm not sure. Or maybe it just does that naturally. And then look at this side. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, so... I think that's frayed burlap, but it is a Distress Oxide ink. So there's some vintage book pages in here. This is a cool one. So I had, this is another garment pin here, and then just a little flower, and then this came from the Your Creative Studio box, one of the tags. Love the colors there with it. And then this is actually a product tag that came, I'm not even sure, oh! Maybe it was on a tennis racket. I don't know. It says head. So I don't really remember what it came on. But the shape was so cool. And the leaf and all. And so, yep, it's perfect for a junk journal. Good example of using some of those things. This is another gel print press page. And then this side would be the brayer cleaning off. Here's another hidden paper clip that I did. And off there. It is, this page is, this, not page, this ephemera is from a book, and then this one is a digital, probably ephemera, vintage garden. You can't see the paperclip at all. It's completely hidden, and I can't remember whose video it was that I saw that on, but definitely it was another YouTuber who's done that, and boy, I, I do them wrong a lot. <laughs> like, I do all kinds of semi-hidden paper clips, but this one's actually completely hidden. And it can go anywhere in the book. Oops, that's totally there. That's the other side of that index, jumbo index card. Sure. Some trim there, very cute. Goes with the theme. This little piece of ephemera I glued partially on for a tuck spot. This is coffee dyed, and the lines I think came from like a baking tray when it was heated in the oven. Piece of ephemera. Made a little tuck pocket there with some scrapbook paper. There's that stamping. A little bit of a different look on this coffee dyed paper. But it still has, whoops, I hit my light. The oxidation that is unique to the oxide inks. This also came from the Your Creative Studio box and I've just partially glued it here to make a tuck spot. I have this. Don't remember where that came from. A little piece of paper and then this was from that ephemera book. And that is packaging. Actually not packaging. It might have, yeah, kind of packaging from like a Hero Arts card kit or something. You know, the card that goes behind. It was just so pretty. I've kept it and it makes a great backer because it's thick. It's, yeah. And then a cute little butterfly brad there. Oops. I've hidden the metal ends of the fastener with some, just some die cut flowers there, and that's a sticker. I love this stationary paper. And it looks like, oh yes, I forgot what I'd done here. It's not attached here, in, and I thought that was a problem for a second, but this is the other side of one of those jumbo index cards. You can, yeah, you can almost see just there in the edge the lines from the index card. And then I've used this piece of paper, ephemera, whatever, to cover up the back side. And I just glued this on because I just loved that pattern. And 
but I didn't I wanted the lines going vertical and so I added it in with the index card this is a real pretty cute page too I love that bunny this is from that book and I just did a little pocket of lace here it's a little looser than I'd like I think I should have focused on making it tighter but I didn't this is a I think this is the sticker paper or a sticker from the Your Creative Studio box and I've cut it down to fit on this little piece of stitched ephemera there. Look at that coffee dyeing. And then we have a little tuck spot here with this piece of thick ephemera and this came from that scrapbook paper. Little tag there with some seam binding. That's not dyed. I don't think I stamped this last piece of tracing paper, but oh well. I think I stamped all the others. And then the back here is that same fabric stitched, and then a little pocket stitched on. This is some upholstery fabric that I made a pillow out of many years ago and had some scrap paper, but it's real pretty. And then I stitched this little piece of ephemera onto some book page. And I did, tried my hand at the, you know, al alternating between a regular stitch and a zigzag. I think it turned out pretty well. So very cute. I hope you enjoyed seeing this journal today. And hopefully it's not too long of a video for you. But there's a lot of great details in this journal but these ones man they take a long time so I've been working on this for a very long time um, but it's a work of art you know so I hope it gives you some ideas let me know in the comments what you'd like to try what things you saw and any questions or other comments that you have thanks again for watching and have a great creative day bye